packing up start of day three at least full day three and we have a trip down the river here gonna do a little bit of fishing and uh, gonna try to get off the water before we get wrecked by a storm come on lucky come on come on lucky lucky come on Nothing like being halfway down the float and having zero gallons of water. And by zero gallons of water, I mean we have no water. We're completely out. Luckily, I came prepared. Well, the thing with doing these kayak trips is you always want to pack as light as possible. As you can see, we're pretty weighed down. And this is, in my opinion, fairly minimal stuff. You've got the tent, you've got camera gear, and a few other essentials. And uh, since we couldn't bring too much water with us, I decided to bring this little thing right here. Do you guys know what this is? If not, just, just stay tuned and watch this. This right here is a literal lifesaver. I'll show you why here in a second. Come on, let's go. Okay, so since I didn't bring that much water with me, I'm now going to use this little tool to drink straight out of this river. Since a human's immune system is basically that of a weenie's, we have to filter water like this. While it may seem clear to the naked eye, you don't know what runs into this. There could be chemicals that run into this, a waste, anything that could harm us, and I don't want to necessarily take that risk as well. So that's why I've got this little thing right here to filter water from the river to my mouth. This is hopefully gonna work. I've never used it before, but I picked a nice cool little riffle area so I can get some cold water that's not so stagnant and stale. It literally tastes like tap water. That's craziness. Now this is a pretty clean and clear water, so I feel comfortable drinking out of this, but something in a survival situation where you literally have like that much water and it's just brown mud, this straw will also help you out as well. It filters out something like 99.99999% of bacteria, E. coli, all that nasty stuff that can hurt us. So I just thought this was kind of cool. I wanted to share with you guys. I've always wanted to get one of these things. I finally decided that it would probably be best to get it for something like this, being that we are out in the wilderness and we're not necessarily a phone call away from rescue. So this thing is a true lifesaver. I think it's actually called the life straw, which is funny. I'm gonna go for another sip. This is good. I just thought this was kind of a neat little gadget, something that I think would help any of you guys out there, whether you're camping or if you're doing like a float fishing trip like this. The other kind of neat thing about this that I actually failed to mention is that it can filter up to 4,000 liters of water. So this isn't something where you can just have, like you can share this with your buddies and such. But anyway, I would highly, highly recommend this if you're out on the creeks and it's as hot as it is today because it's a mega scorcher. All right, let's keep fishing. Eight miles down, a few dozen, actually quite a lot of smallmouth was caught during this float. We survived the Wichita River. This was actually a really refreshing trip. It's nice to just do a big float like this and just kind of forget about the world. So tonight we're heading up to the mountains. We're gonna do some off-roading and do a little bit of fishing. I'm wiped. Let's get out of here. This is it. We just pulled into the off-road zone. Um, there's a little sign that says motorized vehicles restriction only use trails that are on official maps. Meaning that this is probably an area in which we can take some trails as long as they're on official maps and aren't marked uh, restricted. You got one of those official maps? Uh, yeah, Google Maps. <laughs> okay. That'll do. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> We are in it right now. It went from dirt road to just like this one big mud puddle and we're in it. Like this is it. So cool that this national park has like plenty of stuff to do. One of which being some pretty dope off-roading trails. We are just at the tip of the iceberg right now. I am on what is left of my Google Maps trying to figure out which way to go 
in which area is best suited for us right now. I'm also gonna throw this guy into two, or sorry, four low, because we are getting into some rocky situations. Let's put her in neutral. Bump that baby up to four low, and back into drive. Very good. Getting a little bit of rough and bumpy here. Oh yeah, this is rough and bumpy. Look at this, we might have some freaking Serious rough and bumpy here. About to climb the hill? I don't know if we can make oh my, that. What is this? This is just one big ass hill. There's no way we're gonna be able to make this little bottom out. What is the point of that? Uh, it's for bigger vehicles. There's no way we're gonna be able to do that. What bigger vehicles? Do you wanna, oh buddy, this is nothing. If we had like 36 inch, 37 inch tires with like a, a giant forerunner, we'd be able to make this, but I don't know. Do you wanna ground guide me just to make sure? We could try it. I don't think it's going to work though. If we go side. I don't think we'll get over this. What well, if we... there's no way around it really. Sorry, it's a little dark, guys. That's such a big hill though. Look at the size of that hill. It's monstrous. You can ground guide me. And you can just tell, just, we'll, we'll try. Yeah. Okay, cool. What's that? Okay, that's what I'm thinking. It might not be that bad. Okay, I need you to have eyes on me though. Right here, I'm gonna start to bottom out. Which way do I turn? Passenger, just tell me left or right. Are my wheels in the air? Or am I good? I'm really on this, aren't I? I think I might have literally just propped myself right up on it. <laughs> well, there we go, there we go. What am I on? What's going on, talk to me. I just stopped. You're, you're, you're good. You're over the hump on both sides. Oh, it's your hitch. That's my hitch. Well, first road block and we failed. That's okay, though. There's going to be a lot of that. I mean, we're in a freaking stock 4Runner with some meaty wheels and some power, but it's just yeah, not I don't meant think to happen. anything over on that right side. Okay, that's, that's fine. I'm going to turn around and we'll, we'll try. There's another trail right behind me. countless miles of driving, we finally found a spot in which we can camp for the night. It's right on this amazing overlook of these hills here in this national park. I'm a little stuck right now. There we go, we're good. We are taking this thing in places that should not be taken, but it has been so much fun. I'm glad to say that we're parking it down and taking it easy for the night though. This was some freaking drive, I'll tell you what. This was badass, man. And here we are, we've made it. What do you think? This is kind of a cool spot. Nice open clearing with a good view. This is where we're sleeping tonight. for better what thanks for sure man i'm super <laughs> your hat's all sideways you look like you just need a nap for sure <laughs> <laughs> gonna wrap today's video up in the tent this is where i guess i've been sleeping most of this trip i did one night in the car and it was just miserable i'd suggest getting some sort of fan or if it's cold some sort of heater if you ever plan on sleeping in your car so tent it is for the rest of this trip this is uh this is scoot this is scoot and i saying farewell and signing out here on top of this beautiful mountain right now, just listening to this thunder hum straight down the valley. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Be sure to like, subscribe if you want to. If not, that's okay too, but be sick if you guys did so. Uh, we're gonna continue to do more days of this and some different stuff too, which we'll keep a secret. But for now, we're hitting the hay. Thank you so much for the view. And as always folks, keep exploring. Never stop.